Covering Putnam County, where despite a legal challenge, there will be a new sheriff in town in the new year. Sheriff-elect Gator DeLoach will be sworn in next week. A judge threw out an emergency motion that sought to block him from taking office. That motion filed by his defeated opponent, John Kenney. Channel 4's Ashley Mitchum was in the courtroom in Clay County and has reaction. The last uh, month and a half has just been a roller coaster of emotions for my family and I. And I feel like we finally have a, a, just a small amount of closure. Gator DeLoach will be sworn in on Tuesday, but he still could be taken out of office if John Kenney's attorneys have it their way. Uh, An attorney for Kenney, the Republican Harris, candidate who lost the race for Putnam County Sheriff by 16 votes, filed an emergency motion seeking to block DeLoach okay, in the so, first place. Uh, the motion cites the discovery of an additional 428 uh, ballots that turned the race from an 18-vote victory for Kenny to a 16-vote win for DeLoach. The motion also accuses the canvassing board of violating Florida Sunshine Laws and its political code during the recount process. We actually have concerns that the intent of the voters was not expressed with the final decision here. We're looking forward to conducting some depositions, gathering our evidence, and presenting it to the judge in February. DeLoach's attorney says they're ready for February as well. I think things will go in our favor. We're very confident in the uh, law being in our favor. There's a long line of Florida case law supporting our position. Ashley Mitchum, Channel 4, the local station.